BCL Lamb Cam Take Two. Today we're gonna talk about air quality. Uh, we're here, we're in the new barn where we uh, grow out our baby lambs. We bring them over here when they're about 10 days old. As you can see right now, we have a tube fan running on both sides of this barn, blowing fresh air in. We got one on that side. We got one on this side. That tube brings fresh air in and puts it right over the baby lambs so we can try to have good airflow through here all the time. We found that to be the best way to keep those baby lambs healthy if we can have a fresh air supply blowing over top of them at all times. As you can also see in this barn, we do have curtains on the north and south wall. When it gets warm out, we'll also use those curtains to, uh, to bring fresh air in over top of them and let it blow over them. As you can see while we're standing here uh, talking, both these exhaust fa tube fans are running at the same time, bringing fresh air in. They're set on a 15 minute time interval with a control panel that you can see right here. I'm sure while we're talking, they'll kick off. Uh, we also have them set where you could switch them from a timer to a thermostat so that if we wanted them to run continuously once it got so warm in here, which is something we'll probably do once we get closer to the end of, uh, end of winter when we want them to run continuously all day once it gets above 40 degrees. But at this point in time, as cold as it's been, uh, we haven't been utilizing that. Uh, later in the summer months, we could talk about the ventilation and the fans. This is the control panel for our fans, and those are all set on a thermostat where they kick on and blow fresh air in here once it gets so warm in the summertime. But like I said, in the winter time, I think it's really hard for a lot of people to visualize bringing fresh air in and bringing cold air in when it's 14 degrees outside today to blow on top of baby lambs. But, but if you do it correctly and you get your air you know, dispersed across the top of them, they're not getting a draft and it can help those lambs a bunch. It can help them stay uh, comfortable. It can keep our air quality really good in here. And I think it keeps the sheep healthier. We get less pneumonia and respiratory issues. The ewes are healthier. And I think the sheep as a whole are healthier with this uh, new fresh air system that we put into this barn. Also, We're setting, setting some uh, straw here today too. Uh, the other thing we have under here is lean-tos, which uh, today on a day like today where it's like 14 degrees, we have these lean-tos shut off because it's too cold for the baby lambs probably to be out here. We don't want to get that cold draft on them. Uh, we wish we lived in a place where you could leave these open all the time, but in Western Pennsylvania, it gets pretty cold. So on days like today where it's in the teens, we leave these doors shut. We leave those curtains shut and then we just use those tubes that we just seen to bring the fresh air in over top of the lambs to keep that ammonia level down for those babies. But like I said, any day where it's usually above about 25 degrees and that sun's shining, we love to have these lean-to doors open all day and let these lambs play out here. They really enjoy it. You'll be surprised, even when it's 25 degrees out, a lot of those babies will be running around and playing in there and really enjoying that sunshine even though it's cold outside. The next barn we're gonna go into is our lambing room. This is the only heated facility we have. The heat in this barn is from a, uh, a propane heater that you can see hang up there. Um, we've been fortunate enough this winter, or unfortunate depending on how you look at it, that we've had these jugs filled about all year. And with these jugs filled and all these used in here making body heat, that heater has not had to run at all. Um, it stayed above 45 degrees. Um, I actually have that set to only run above 36 and it hasn't run all year because we've kept it pretty full with use working through here all year. So that's, that's kept it warm enough in here that that heater hasn't had to run. The reason we have it heated in here is this is where the baby lambs come as soon as they're born. Once they get dropped in the, over there, they come straight in here. We like to keep them in the jugs at least three or four days and get a good start. Like I said, all these jugs are full right now because we just slammed our January flush group, so it's pretty full. The two different ventilation systems we have in here is a tube fan, which you can see is running right now. We have this tube fan currently running continuously, bringing a small amount of fresh air in to blow across these baby lambs at all times. That keeps the ammonia level down in here. That keeps them all a lot healthier and comfortable. More comfortable, excuse me. 
Uh, the other thing we have in here is an exhaust fan, which you can see on that exit wall there. That exhaust fan is currently on a timer where it runs on an interval at 15 minutes at a fast speed to blow the, uh, blow the bad air out. The control panels for this are right here. Uh, we have a control setting for speed for our exhaust fan and our tube vent fan. We can adjust them from low all the way up to 10. If you listen here to this tube fan, you can hear, you know, we can turn it up as fast as we want or we can slow it way down on a day like today where it's really cold out and we don't want to bring as much air in at once. We just want to bring a small amount in to try to keep fresh air in here and keep that ammonia level down. And as you see, we can also set it on timer or on a thermostat. If it got really warm, once we're lambing here in March, we might switch these over to the thermostat control where these would run continuously anytime it got above 50 degrees in here because we don't want to see it get above 50 in here. So that's something we'll use later in the year once the temperatures warm up. But right now, as cold as it is out, we just have them set on a timer most of the time when we're not here where they'll kick on on a timing system throughout the day and then blow fresh air in and out. But like I said, the only reason that, you know, we have this heated is strictly for the purposes of keeping these baby lambs warm, keeping them getting uh, chilled once they come in here wet. We like to leave them in here just for a couple days, like I said, and try to get them back out to the cold side of the barn. Our used drop lambs from this side over here. We'll walk out here and scope this out and how we ventilate this as well. This is the only barn we don't have tube fans in. Somebody once told me that uh, curtains were a poor man's ventilation system. So if that's the case, this would be still under a poor man's ventilation system. Uh, we have a curtain on the north wall and the south wall. On a day like today where it's in the teens outside with all the sheep that we currently have in here, it's still staying about 35 degrees in here. There's no ammonia smell in here. I think the, I think the air quality for these sheep is really good, really comfortable right now. So we're not opening the curtains as cold as it is, and we're just letting the curtains shut today. As you can see here, it's about uh, 32 degrees, it says on that thermostat here. And we got, <clears throat> we have our drop pens are down here where we drop lambs. And like I said, we let them drop right in here where it's cold and then take them into that heated side once they're born. We also have our turnout pens. So once those babies come out of them jugs, they come out here in the small turnout pens before they go to the uh, before they go to the big turnout pens in the newer barn. The curtains in this barn are set up on a thermostat-driven control panel system that I'll show you right here. This thermostat control says it's 34.9 degrees in here. Like I said, that's almost 20 degrees warmer than it is outside today, which is what we want. All the sheep in here are keeping the keeping it warm in here with all their body temperature. This has different settings where we can set uh, when it opens and when it shuts. Right now we have it set once it gets in the low 40s, the curtains slowly open about 12 inches at a time so you don't bring too much air in at once. And then once it gets down in the low 40s again at night, it slowly shuts as well. And that's uh, a system that's been working really good for us in here. Long term, we might eventually go to those tube fans so we can control it more. But for now, this is a more cost effective way to bring fresh air in here without having the expense of uh, hanging the tube and having the more expensive control panel. Those uh, other control panels are thousands of dollars, whereas something like this is only about 300 bucks. This is a lot more cost effective way to bring fresh air in. And we've been satisfied with this, but we do like those tube fans maybe a little better to bring in a more consistent airflow and just has more additional settings to be able to set them where you want them. That was uh, today's tutorial. We look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks, everyone.